It is a very long story. I'm now 70 years old, and I began, um, I'm going to say, I began my interest when I was about 11 or 12, and I would go to my grandma's house, and she had this old, uh, it had to stand five feet up, uh, old radio, and it covered the shortwave bands, uh, not sideband, uh, which we didn't even have then, actually, uh, but just AM shortwave, and I would listen around, I'd hear other countries, and I thought it was magic. Um, so I became more and more interested. Um, I finally ran into a fellow who lived down the street from me. This was in Pennsylvania at the time. And uh, he actually, believe it or not, was a nuclear scientist. Uh, however, he in his basement had a full setup and would uh, entice me by having me come over and sit and watch him talk to Europe and around the world. And I was hooked. I mean, I was hook, line, and sinker hooked. So he slowly trained me to become a novice. Um, and I took my test. And my first uh, rig was a Heathkit AT1 transmitter, uh, which was crystal controlled and good for about 30 watts on a good day. And um, and so I got on, and that's how it happened. I think I was uh, licensed either when I was 11 or 12. Um, no, I'm going to say 12 or 13. I'm sorry, 12 or 13. And um, uh, either late 12 or early 13. Keen. And um, that's all I did. I would sit in my room and I would operate day and night. I uh, didn't particularly enjoy CW. I still don't. But I, I, I know it. For some reason, CW came easily to me. It's strange because I don't, I don't really like CW, but it came easily to me. I'm one of those people, I guess. It is a very long story. I'm now 70 years old. And I began, um, I'm going to say, I began my interest when I was about 11 or 12. And I would go to my grandma's house, and she had this old, uh, it had to stand five feet up, uh, old radio. And it covered the shortwave bands, uh, not sideband, uh, which we didn't even have then, actually. Uh, but just AM shortwave. And I would listen around. I'd hear other countries. And I thought it was magic. Um, so I became more and more interested. Um, I finally ran into a fellow who lived down the street from me. This was in Pennsylvania at the time. And uh, he actually, believe it or not, was a nuclear scientist.